Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Seven policemen suspended in drugs nexus case back on duty. Department claims inquiry still on. All were suspended in 2010 on charges of nexus with Atala. Government to implement entry fee for heavy vehicles from neighbouring districts. Goa stairs at price rise from June. Government may give passes for regular vehicles. Congress who permitted Golf Course reaches out to Terracol villagers supporting their fight against Golf Course to pour in youth force against hooliganism. Forest Department and animal lover Amrut Singh seizes six crude bombs, cartridges and air gun in Honda Satari accused Matthew flees from the spot. New chairperson of Margao clashes with chief officer on day one. And relegation threatens former I League champions Dempo SC and Salgaonkar FC. Wednesday's Goan Derby is should not lose kind of a game, say both coaches. Now the news in detail. Goa Police Department has reinstated seven policemen who were suspended in the police drug mafia nexus case. Interestingly, the department has said that departmental inquiry against all of them is still on in this serious case of drugs nexus. In 2010, they were suspended after expose of their relation with drug lord Atala. All of them have been posted in GRP for now. Keeping aside the gravity of the alleged offence, Goa Police Department on Tuesday issued an order reinstating seven suspended cops linked with police drugs mafia nexus case. The tainted cops are P.I. Ashish Shirodkar, P.S.I. Punaji Gawas, Head Constable Hussein Sheikh, Constable Sahesh Pokhle, Sanjay Parab, R.S. Kankonkar, Sandeep Parab. All have been posted in the GRP. Even though departmental inquiry and legal proceedings are still on against all of them, it is alleged that these six lower-ranked policemen under instructions of P.I. Ashish Shirodkar used to steal drugs from police locker and supply to Israeli drugs dealer Atala. With this order, double standards of Goa Police and the state government has been exposed. Another five constables, namely Mahadev Naik, Mahabaleshwar Savant, Samir Varkhankar, Oremia Gurre and Nagesh Parsikar, who were suspended for planting drugs on Dudu, are fighting their case before the High Court, pleading to reinstate them. But state government before the High Court has taken a stand not to reinstate them because they are allegedly involved in drugs-related cases. We question higher-ups of Goa Police that on what grounds P.I. Ashish Shirodkar and his men are reinstated and how the case of Mahadev Naik and other constables is different. I.G. Sunil Gar stated that recently CBI had given NOC to them for their reinstatement. Following that, the Suspension Review Committee found them fit for reinstatement. This policeman was suspended for more than five years, which is also against the natural justice. They are also in the process to review other staffs who are suspended for a long time. However, inquiry against these policemen is still incomplete and although natural justice cannot be denied to anyone, Goa Police and CBI has definitely failed to complete inquiry in this high-profile case even after five years. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent Prices are set to rise in Goa from June 1st. Transport Department has decided to levy entry fee for vehicles coming in from neighbouring districts. Government has stopped charging these commercial vehicles for last two years after they created a hullabaloo against entry fee. Now, PWD sources inform that these vehicles will also be charged entry fee, though with concession. Department will introduce a pass system. Government has issued a notification to this effect. Goa government has imposed entry fees in 2013 on vehicles entering state from neighbouring states. Government earns annually around 25 crores on entry fees at present. Transporters carrying vegetables, fruits, 
fish, milk and other food commodities had created a chaos on the Goa government's decision. Government later kept them outside the ambit of entry fee. Government even assured pass system for these goods carrying vehicles the same year. Now sources claim that government has decided to impose entry fee on these goods carrying vehicles from June 1st. Government has issued a notification in this regard. As per the rates fixed by the government, a tempo will have to pay 500 rupees every time it enters Goa, 1000 rupees for heavy vehicles. With the allotment of passes, the fee burden would be lowered by 50 to 40%. Monthly pass will give them rebate of 50% and 3 months pass will provide them 40% discount. But transporters are likely to charge exorbitant freight on the commodities in spite of pass system and rebate given by the government. If the transportation cost raises by 10 to 20 paise per kg due to introduction of entry fees, the retailer's trade way hikes commodity prices by 5 to 10 rupees a kg. Entry fee is collected at five entry points in Goa. Government in its annual budget for the year 2014-2015 has targeted a 40 crore revenue through entry fee. PWD earns around 25 crores per annum on entry fees at present. Government's decision to bring public goods career under the ambit of entry fee might invite more inflation from June onwards in Goa. These are the commodities which will see a rise in their prices. Vegetables, flowers, meat, chicken, fish, milk, cereals, ready-made clothes, cashew, footwears, bags, plastic items. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar and video journalist Chetan Gawas for Prudent. Congress has now backed the aggrieved Terracol villagers fighting against vandalism by a golf course promoter. Terracol had witnessed tense moments when a golf course promoter started constructing a road during midnight hours, guarded by an army of almost 50 bouncers. Congress is ready to get its youth force on guard if the bouncers dare again. A NGO village groups of Goa has also slammed CM Parsikar for turning a blind eye towards this incident. Ironically, the golf course promoters had begun their activity on ground during the past Congress government's regime. And the Congress has now moved for a solidarity towards the Terikol locals. Congress leader Luisin Falero, Alex Rajinald and Sunil Kautankar met Terikol villagers on Tuesday to back the locals in their battle against a golf course promoter. Village group of Goa has slammed the chief minister for keeping mum over the Terikol episode. Terikol. Vilas Arolkar and Dattaraj Naik for Prudent. Marga Municipality's newly elected chairperson Arthur De Silva had a heated verbal duel with Chief Officer Naveen Lakshman. Inspection of municipality sparked the spat between the two. Chairperson slammed CO over discipline while Chief Officer on camera exposed the corrupt practices ongoing in the municipality. The only cabin which doesn't have CCTV camera is the chairperson's cabin. Chairperson's cabin is a den of corruption. CO Naveen Lakshman made said it all openly in front of media and people. 
It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.